It is imperative that we shed our preconceived notions of who poses a threat to our networks and our digital infrastructure. Today's sophisticated hackers use simple electronic devices like remote control cars or other smart toys to gain access to our most sensitive data. Skilled cyber actors don't need to spend years or decades honing or refining their craft to inflict severe damage. For example, a five-year-old recently found a flaw in an Xbox video game system that allowed him to hack into his father's account. And a 10-year-old discovered a new class of bugs in a mobile game allowing her to manipulate the results. While these might not sound like dire threats to national security, they should be instructive to the digital world we now inhabit. Malicious cyber actors can come in any shape and size, and we must adapt to this new reality. I would like to introduce to you someone who personifies this technological information and represents the sophistication of cyber actors. He is the CEO of a cyber nonprofit as well as a cyber expert all at the age of 11. Please welcome Ruben Paul. Good morning, Ruben. Thank you. Where's Bob? Why don't you go ahead and get started? So Ruben, okay. we'll find Bob. He's okay. not lost. 11 years old. You're the CEO of a company. You consider yourself a cyber expert. And then you do gymnastics. Yes. All at the age of 11. How did you get here? Uh, well, before I answer your question, uh, I just wanted to say a big thank you. I wanted to thank my God, Jesus Christ, for the gifts he has given me and giving me this opportunity. I want to thank you, Ms. Glover Jones, for letting me share the stage today. And I want to thank all the people who are serving today and all the people who have served, the veterans, and all the attendees here. Um, and I hope one day to serve our nation just like you on the cyber wall. Thank you. Now back to your question. Um, it all began when I was about six years old. And um, my dad uh, used to train people on cybersecurity. So I used to listen in and learn about basic security topics. And um, one day when he was on a business call, he forgot the word firewall. So I prompted him from the back and he realized I had a potential for learning cybersecurity. So he started teaching me more advanced topics like uh, hacking phones and uh, windows and uh, uh, IOT devices mm. so um, I started learning and I had to I was simplifying uh, advanced topics down so that anyone could understand them and that's how I came up with cyber Shaolin my nonprofit organization yeah nonprofit organization so tell us about Bob who is Bob so this year is Bob meet Bob so Bob is a bear of breaches a so bear of breaches that's why I named him Bob uh, you got okay. something to say Huh? Yeah, he has a little message for us. Hey, Dotus Worldwide, this is Bob. I just wanted to say hi. How are you all doing? I'm really excited to be here today. Thanks for the opportunity. So, what do you use Bob for? Most people sleep with teddy bears. Well, but I, I gather that you're not most people. Well, I, I'm going to hack into Bob. You're going to hack into Bob? Yes. Okay. You gonna show us what you got? Yes. Okay. So I basically have a Raspberry Pi and any computer. I'm connecting through it. I'm connecting to it using terminal and uh, just on my Mac. And I'm gonna use. Uh, and I'm just gonna scan for my Bob. So um, here you go. Wow. Oh, let me turn my phone off because you can really hack it. <laughs> That is a lot of things. I see someone's Fitbit, Charge HR, uh, select someone's device like an Apple Watch. Oh, there, there's Bob. I see him. It's at CloudFets. Now you make sure it's Bob. Yes. And not General Stewart's phone, okay? Okay. I need my job. Okay. <laughs> so, um, if you're trying to turn off your Bluetooth devices, it's too late. <laughs> So I'm just going to connect to the bear interactively, and uh, once I do that, I'm going to, 
uh, see these services. So the first two are for uh, are on Bluetooth specs, and uh, it's basically for interactive uh, interactively connecting between the bear and the device. The last one is for over the air updates, and this one is specific to the manufacturer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to in each of these services there is characteristics, properties that you can use. So I'm basically just going to uh, describe the characteristics. So once I get this characteristics, I see that the, uh, I, ha I went through each one and there's a specific one, handle 27. But I'm going to actually read handle 28 because that's the description for the handle. So when I do it, I'm going to do character-read handle 28. And we get these three, or these, uh, these numbers. That's a hex. So I'm just going to go into Python and put that in and on exit. How did you learn Python? Uh, I've been taking, uh, I have a book at home, Python for Kids. So Self-taught, OK. Yeah. Um, so I have LED. So handle 27 controls the LED. So basically, I'm just going to write to that handle. And I'm going to write handle to handle 2701. So now, as you see on Bob, the LED, this little heart LED will flash. Wow. So I'm going to turn that off. And who just wants to see a light turn on? I'm going to make some audio play. So I went through each one of these, and I found that handle 12 is for commands, mm -hmm. sending commands to the bear. And 08 is for audio. Um, and then uh, zero two is for record, and it records to slot one automatically. There are a few different slots, but it records to slot one. So when I enter this command, Bob is going to record everything I say, and nobody's going to know it. So once I enter it, Miss Glover Jones is going to ask me a question, or ask Bob a question. I'm going to answer it for Bob, and then you guys are going to scream, "Dotus is awesome!" Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey, Bob. Have you just been hacked? Yes, I was. So I just turned it off. And to play it back, I'm going to do 0801. And I'm going to play back on slot 1. Hey, Bob, have you just been hacked? Yes, I was. Hmm. So, if you were a nefarious cyber actor, what could you do with Bob or any other smart tooth enabled device? So, I could act, theoretically stand out any government institute base and connect to a Bluetooth low energy device like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or something like that. And then I could record secretive conversations. Or if I was, uh, or I could stand out a doc outside a doctor's office and connect to a heart pacemaker and turn it off, making some, causing some serious damage. So ladies and gentlemen, what we just witnessed is in about five minutes, Ruben here was able to hack into Bob and record our conversations. This is the reality of what we live in. And we want to say thank you, Ruben, for coming and sharing with us how easy this is. Thank you. I'd like to thank Sir, or my best friend, Sergey, for giving me this opportunity. I'd like to thank the team. After that, I'm going to now disauthenticate the drone and the user, and I'm going to disconnect their connection so that they can. Now I'm going to connect the drone, and then I can get video feed, I can fly it, I can do basically anything I want. So just to showcase that I have control. Um, well, I'm 13 years old, and my name is Ruben Paul. Uh, I live in Austin, Texas, and I like to hack. Um, uh, I started hacking when I was about six or seven, and this is when I started first getting into technology and started first researching and learning about hacking. 
I just hacked the drone and I basically scanned for networks in the area. Uh, I scanned for the devices connected to the drone's network. Then I disconnected the drone and the user by sending a DOS package. After that, I connected back to the drone and now I have full control of it. I can fly it, I can video record, I can get all kinds of data back. This, these protocols and these technologies are not only limited to the drone, it's limited to the entire Internet of Things. And the Internet of Things is just a network of connected physical devices through an Internet protocol. So your smart homes, your, your smart devices, your smart toys, all of this is connected. And this is the technology that's going to be going into future devices such as autonomous cars, flying cars, things like this. So if we don't secure it now, then uh, connectivity without controls can become catastrophic. Technology is only going to get bigger and that's the world we're going to be moving into. So make sure that it's secure now so that later we won't have to regret it. Hold on, let me leave that a second. <laughs> Give it a little bit of. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, Raven.